Imagine this, you wake up as a blob of goo, shuffle over to a nearby skull, place it on your head, and begin to explore an overgrown 2D environment in true Metroidvania style. If all of the above sounds appealing to you, keep your eye on Zapling Bygone, the brazenly bizarre side-scroller from Nine Finger Games currently up for a Rogue Jam award in the WTF category. Equal parts Hollow Knight, Carrion, Celeste, and Squishy Monster Movie, Zapling Bygone dispenses with an overt story dump and lets you squirm into action as soon as you get past the title screen. Only a few lines of dialogue give any kind of clue about the setting or narrative. The planned story is actually quite robust, involving an alien hive mind absorbing as many life forms as it encounters in the hopes of coming across memories that can lead it to a cure for a species-destroying virus plaguing its people. It starts a standard 2D platforming affair, but quickly mutates into something else when you begin to find new skulls. Each skull you place on your gelatinous form has a distinct personality and ability set to go with it, along with those stolen memories. For instance, the Rat King skull charms all the rats in a particular area, with hearts getting thrown your way instead of attacks. It's too early to say how much direct story content will be added to flesh out the world of Zapling Bygone, but the skull's differing personalities already provide ample opportunities for world building. It's a fun way to learn more about the actual state of the world without being spoon-fed exposition. You can also backtrack to these dialogue points after obtaining new skulls to hear new comments from different different perspectives. Skulls can also be upgraded with charms you find throughout the environment. Also known as evos, these charms come in various different shapes, and each skull can only accommodate particular shaped charms. The first evo you pick up, Adrenal Gland, is a circle charm that increases attack speed. The Rat King Skull, however, only had triangle charm slots, so the ability to pacify certain enemies came at the cost of better offensive capability. This push and pull of matching evos to skulls will undoubtedly play a large part in how you decide to tackle each area and will hopefully allow for a wide variety of player personalization. Only time will tell whether or not certain skulls are necessary to access certain areas or if you're given more freedom to mix and match at will. Skulls and evos seem to be the most important collectibles in Zapling Bygone, but plasma and memories are two others you will encounter on your journey. You spend 25 plasma to activate save points throughout the world, while memories are strictly for storytelling purposes. If Zapling Bygone ends up taking home a Rogue Jam cash infusion, the lead developer intends to throw most of that money at cutscenes and pixel art set pieces designed to help flesh out the story and improve boss battles, both elements that are currently underrepresented. Right now, story beats come in the form of comic strip panels that fill in side stories of the world around you, including tales of sentient robots and genetically enhanced rats. These stories are a small inclusion at the moment, but they're still weird enough to be worth seeking out. And weird is definitely in keeping with the rest of Zapling Bygone. You can squish through small passages while leaving your skull behind to enter secret rooms, beat up dangerous plants, and attempt conversation with morbidly obese rodents. The WTF category is home to all games unnatural, uncomfortable, and gleefully zany, and this semi-solid side-scroller most certainly fits the bill.